at that lighthouse. Does anyone recognize it? There's quite a few of them up and down the Keys. This one is Sombrero Reef Lighthouse. What's up guys, my name's Amanda. My name is Emily and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today we are gonna be snorkeling Sombrero Reef Lighthouse. Like we, under it. Like underneath it. There's supposed to be fishies underneath it. And then on the back side, there's supposed to be a reef with more fish. On the front side, it's supposed to be sand with a, with a bunch of sea turtles. What we're hoping so for. We're gonna hopefully try and find you guys some sea turtles. Today we have some friends and family with us. We have Wayne, Gale Force mom. Hello. Gale Force dad. Oh. And we're all about to go and explore Sombrero Lighthouse. A fun little fact guys, there's a lot of lighthouses throughout the Florida Keys. One of the famous ones is Isla Mirada Alligator Reef and then Sombrero is probably the next most popular one that people Ooh. dive at. We personally have actually never dove at Sombrero, but we have dove at Alligator, we've dove at the one in Big Pine, we dove at American Shoal, American Shoal, and the one in Key West, which one's the one in Key West again? Sand Key, Sand we've Key. dove at those, yes. but this is our first time at Sombrero, so we don't know what we're gonna find, but we're gonna show you. Before we get in the water, guys, I want to point out our dive flag hanging on our Tigris Outriggers. We actually lost our dive flag, and before we came here, we stopped at a gas station in Marathon and got a dive flag because it's important, guys. It's not legal to be in the water without one. So make sure you guys do that before you get there. Have a little checklist before you get on the boat. Your dive flag, mask, fin, snorkel, camera gear, because it's cool to take cool pictures. Today, I am using hammerhead free dive fins. Emily's got the black ones. And usually we wear the little booties. Sometimes we wear booties. Another little pro tip is guys, look, check out my socks. So Who I got, I got a, are these called candy skulls? Candy skulls. I got skull socks and the trick is if for some reason your fins are too small for booties, but you still want that extra cushion to stop blisters, just throw on a pair of socks. So Emily's sporting Pooh Bear. I'm sporting the school guys. And this is my mask today. GoPro mask going on, and of course this one. Yep, gotta get you guys all the cool footage. A good way, guys, to know when your mask fits is you literally don't worry about the strap. Don't use the strap to make it fit your face. You want the mask to fit pretty much without the strap. So I'm gonna put it on, and I'm just gonna like Breathe suck in. in from my nose. It fits. <laughs> so basically, guys, it stays. It's a little heavier the GoPro, but check this out. Just like that, didn't even have the strap on. So really, your mask should just fit your face naturally. When you go to the store, you put them on, suck in. If they seal all sides, it'll stay on your face. And then this is almost gonna be loose. I'm gonna wear it on the crown of my head. Whenever I go buy new gear, guys, I go to the dive shop and I ask them, can you point me in the direction of small masks because I know I have a small face. If you have preferences, like you want mirrored lenses or clear lenses, just ask them and they'll direct you in the area. And I went to the small mask section. I tried a couple on and this was probably the first one that I honestly picked up I liked the best. It fits when I suction, and I'm not gonna use the strap to keep it on my face. Hold your mask. Hold and hold your breath, because you'll suck it into the snorkel. So maybe don't even wear it. Ready?
about to go into the lighthouse. Check this out. Look at this, look at the structure of this thing. All right, let's go. Amanda's already in there. Did you guys see that hogfish in there? It was blended in with the sea floor, kind of that brownish color. Whereas the other one we saw earlier was white, blending in with the sand. Camouflaging itself, super cool. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start swimming this way. So that was the lighthouse right here, the lighthouse. And over this way is more of an actual coral reef. So we're gonna go swim towards the reef and show you guys some more awesome, awesome footage.
from Shafts. You guys to see them. Can't wait. We have the storm coming. Check out that storm. We got the storm coming, guys. I'm gonna get the drone put away. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you like watching all the fish at the reef swimming with us. Make sure you follow Yo Force Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Instagram, and YouTube. And like and subscribe for more.